Hello YouTube, this is Kaito JR here and I'm here to make another uh, Gene Discussion video, this time discussing more about Reiji Akiyama because yeah, I really haven't been talking enough just about Reiji Akiyama at all throughout the entirety of this channel. And uh, yeah, I mean, the only one I did about with Reiji was the Ajin Demi Human Character Discussion Topic video I made uh, three years ago, I believe it was. Yeah, it was just, talk or was it two years ago? Whatever. Yeah, it was a couple years ago, and uh, yeah, I that was kind of it. I didn't really talk enough about Reiji at all, and I kind of went to make this video all about Reiji Akiyama. Let's talk more about him. But yeah, uh, first of all, Reiji, he was one of the Ajins that we saw introduced for the first time in Chapter 15, along with Ko, Nakano, Smeltis as well, Takashi, and Gen. Yeah, of course, all of them went to the real meeting spot where Sato laid out. Of course, uh, initially, Sato made this lie that, yeah, so, okay, this like, location right here where we see all these like, reporters out with their, like, you know, high digital cameras, whatever, it's all live, I, I believe, but whatever. Just in case of Sato, I guess, and the other audience show up here, yeah, and it will go on live. But yeah, they didn't show up here. It was just like, you know, it was it was just for all the odd genes. Like, of course, they will, humans won't know if that's an odd gene unless they see the IBM. I mean, the only way an odd gene can know if another person is an odd gene is if they can see IBM. And uh, if you can, I mean, if you're a human, you can't see us, so that's why only the odd gene know, like, uh, you know, where to go for the real meeting place. Like, they use their IBMs to communicate, with, they, they tell the, the other odd gene that, yeah, okay, this is the real meeting spot, and then we see in chapter 15 where the real meeting spot is, all the odd gene go here, you know, including Reiji himself. Reiji, yeah, initially, first of all, when he first saw Ko, he didn't want Ko to be in this location. He thought he was too young. Yeah, yeah, Ko was like 17 years old. I'm not entirely sure how old Reiji is, probably in his 30s, maybe early 40s around there, but yeah, he's, he's an older guy, most likely. But yeah, uh, Reiji didn't want Ko to be there. It was for kids at all, especially after Reiji heard what like Sato said. Like Sato wanted to like you know commit a massacre in order to change things once for all for you know for Aji rights. But yeah, I mean, Sato didn't really care about Aji rights. We all know this. He just wanted to have fun, just like slaughtering people, like he does. Like like it's all like a big video game for him and stuff like that. And of course, like Sato is a gamer first. Like he just wants to play games most of the time. Like his favorite games are. So we all know platformers and shooters is what he mostly plays. Uh, yeah, Sato just plays that a lot. Mostly he plays with Tanaka. Ever since Tanaka and him became close, he started to play with him. But yeah, afterwards, like as you all should know, Tanaka betrayed him, and betrayed Sato, just so he can join up with like Izumi and K to help him, help them like defeat Sato once and for all. Because like Sato just like he just wants nothing to do, kill others, and like Tanaka has enough with that, so he wants to betray Sato. But, yeah, you should all know this if you read the manga. You, yeah, you should. Uh, Reiji, yeah, at the beginning, right in chapter 15, he even told this to Tanaka, like, right when he was, like, tranquilized, about to pass out, he's like, uh, you guys know that if you, like, keep uh, committing these, like, violences, like, uh, or about to commit these violences, it's just going to worsen the, the situation for all Ajin, like, like, yeah, of course, the government was trying, was just trying to, like, hide the fact that they torture Ajins in, in order to, like, you know, not make the public like panic or something like that or just reveal no nah, actually it was to reveal like the powers of the Aji not to make the public panic that's why they were trying to keep it all in the low obviously and then and yeah or, uh, Tanaka was like like a little worried about this I mean yeah that was like the star again yeah, maybe Tanaka will actually switch sides there it was really like, yeah it was shown right there in chapter 15 it was like yeah this is probably foreshadowing that Tanaka will eventually switch sides to, to join up with forces with the you know Kay and uh Izumi at their forces and join with them yeah so that was the whole foreshadowing thing there and yeah it eventually did happen like many 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 chapters later it eventually did happen right at the end of it all after the force security arc it's when like yeah Izumi knows that, okay, uh, basically Sato betrayed Tanaka because Sato will see how Tanaka doesn't want to kill anymore. He's no fun anymore, so he's just, okay, um, yeah, we're going with Tanaka's plan, but we'll just drive away from Tanaka where, like, so we can go to the Uruma base, so we can go to the final stage of my plan, and it's like, we'll have you more fun. And then, uh, yeah, Sato did that, and uh, Reiji, yeah, of course, Reiji for the majority of the time, right, right after he got tranquilized by, was it Tanaka, something like that, yeah. Uh, right, right in the, of course, uh, the real meeting place where they first met, like, we first saw him in chapter 15. Reiji was locked up in this barrel with some of the other two Ajin that are, aren't are really important, though they are Aji, but yeah, they're not really brought along, I guess because they're not really all that useful. I don't even know if they can even sell an IBM, but yeah, Reiji definitely can. I mean, his IBM has, like, spikes on his head. It's pretty interesting. I wonder, I wonder if his IBM can, like, ram into, like, opponents with, like, a spiked head. I wonder... Be pretty cool to see that, um, but yeah, 
there. Reiji, yeah, he was one of the only Aji that a coach wanted to say. I, I, I think he did he say the other day. It was at Hotel Hikari. I mean, o Okuyama was there too. I think he was like tranquilized, but then like uh, he had this like battery bomb inside of him, which blew up and killed him, which is why how he was able to revive while like Okuyama and uh, Ko was trying to look for clues on what to do next. But then, yeah, right there, Okuyama just looked up and gave him like this phone and saying that, yeah, um, look, I wasn't actually friends with Sato, not exactly, I mean, I just wanted to join up with him because obviously he's a dangerous guy and uh, yeah, I just thought like the smartest move I could have made was just like to join up forces with him and help him out just so I don't have to be his enemy, it's better to have Sato as a friend than an enemy, like, yeah, I, I think K maybe should have went down that road just because like, yeah, Sato's a strong guy, he could actually get him help him a lot, could have supported him a lot, but uh, now he just decided to you know, betray him right there and then to just save these two uh, researcher guys, like these two scientists guys, whoever, that were like torturing Kay. But yeah, like you know, whatever. Kay just wanted to do his own thing. He doesn't want to like go around and slaughtering people with Sato. He's just not interested in doing that. It's not really Kay's goal. Kay's goal is to become a doctor. You know, not, not really like a, like a terrorist, but you know, that's just what happened there with that. But uh, yeah, Okuyama, he gave Reiji and, uh, you know, Ko like this phone in order to. Because like yeah, this phone basically shows like three locations, I believe. Like, was it the yeah, I think it was that phone that showed that. Like three locations that showcase like where Sato's arm could be at. So they had to go to like these three locations. Of course, like, K knows about this as well, because I think Ray Jorko just showed them to K. And then yeah, the anti demigens showed up using me to knock out that yeah, those guys they went to like each of these three locations to just like to get the Sato's arm, uh, yeah, the anti demis managed to get to the right location. Thankfully, yeah, they, thankfully those guys did because, uh, you know, they're probably like the strongest or and the best at dealing with, uh, you know, IBMs and Ajins in general, yeah, because like Takahashi, he was the only Ajin that they, like, the anti demis had to fight against, and, uh, you know, uh, well, yeah, where I'm trying to get to there is that, um, yeah, eventually Reiji sent his IBM to the anti demi human special task force, those guys, in order to, like, retrieve Sato's arm so they can bring it to, you know, to, like, under this utility pole, like, because, like, yeah, like, Ko and Reiji, they were trying to look for, like, a hole that was, like, six feet deep so they could, like, you know, shove Sato's arm down there so when Sato, like, you know, kills himself with the whole kamikaze attacks he was doing, and then he'll, like, you know, reset and yeah, we're set back into his like arm that's like under this like six feet hole like under this utility pole and then yeah he'll just be stuck underground there and then that boom sato is defeated but yeah of course that didn't happen nope like uh, sato got bored and he just flew someplace else and just uh, yeah and that's what happened there with that uh and then reiji yeah he, he didn't really give up at the time uh he was just like waiting for i guess orders like that but yeah like let me just yeah, 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 him and K, him and sorry, him and Co were waiting for orders, like what to do next. Me, like, yeah, the whole plan failed. So what now? But yeah, like yeah, they were doing other stuff after that, that with the anti demis and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Reiji, let me just talk about how the fact that yeah, Reiji Akiyama is also a fireman as well. Like before the whole thing with Chapter Fifteen, he was doing his fireman duties, like saving people, saving lives. We even got this backstory like later on in the manga where yeah, Reiji. He uses IBM a lot to like save people in like these like destroyed buildings like like destroyed buildings that were on fire that, that were like being destroyed like in the process so yeah like he, Reiji uses IBM a lot to like save lives like whereas like, I'm pretty sure the other people his other like like comrades and like the, the fireman force whatever didn't know that uh, Reiji was an Aji so he just kept that hidden also Reiji has a wife and a daughter as well and uh yeah, we see them at the end of the manga, chapter 86, where Reiji, like, after he was all done with, like, you know, defeat, helping K to, 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 like, defeat Sato, it's for all, it's all over, Reiji. I don't think Reiji actually had to change his name. I think he was fine there. He was, most of the time, he just spent, like, the entirety of the manga's run just inside of this, uh, barrel in Hotel Hikari until he was saved by Ko. And then, but, yeah, Ko and Tanaka, I think Tanaka left that word. That's why we didn't see him with Okuyama there as well. Uh, yeah, he left, and, uh, yeah, so right at the end, he just went back to his like, wife and daughter because it was all over. Finally, the fight is done, and uh, he was returned there. But yeah, and his wife was like, well, really worried about the Reiji, but yeah, they still like, uh, they hugged, I think like, they kissed as well, and they just like, Reiji was just walking back home. But, yeah, so they're still like together, and uh, we don't really know much about like uh, Reiji's wife and uh, daughter as well. They're not really like big characters, obviously. They're not, characters at all just, they were never characterized like throughout the manga they just know like uh, yeah they're Reiji's wife Reiji's daughter that's it all that, that's all we know about them and then, yeah like, Reiji's was living happily forever after with them and then that was it we didn't see Reiji afterwards like uh, we didn't see like 
all we saw at the end of the manga was like Kay just saying like, okay, this isn't over yet. I'm gonna go become a doctor, you know, go into college, and then my life will just start there. So, yeah, that's pretty much what happened there. Uh, let's see, anything else about Reiji Akiyama I need to talk about? Uh, no, I think that's pretty much it, everybody. Yeah, that's pretty much all I need to talk about with Reiji Akiyama. I pretty much just like talk everything I need to like, discuss about him here. Uh, yeah, so just comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, what I have to say about Reiji Akiyama, everybody, just below, all the good stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the video, everybody. Thanks for watching, and bye.